when it comes to all the things you might need to store nothing is quite as precious and extraordinarily delicate as your book collection a person's book collection offers a glimpse into their soul many consider the thomas upon their bookshelf to be a deeply personal representation of their self and their personal history so it is with great trepidation and care that one must endeavor to place their books into temporary storage for an extended period of time as novelist umberto eco once wrote a book is a fragile creature it suffers the wear of time it fears rodents the elements and clumsy hands so the librarian protects the books not only against mankind but also against nature and devotes his life to this war with the forces of oblivion the best way to store books is obviously on a bookcase with plenty of air circulation but if you are moving or just have a ton of books you might not be able to use shelving for all of your volumes in such cases book lovers will need to prepare their books for long term storage hello hello dear viewers i'm chornet again welcome back to our channel today we have brought to you modern wall mounted bookshelf or bookcase design ideas this video contains a collection of modern wall mounted bookshelves or bookcase ideas or designs which you can copy and duplicate at your own workshop you can pick your favorite design and try to make it at home or show it to your local workshop so that they can make one for you you can even turn these plants or designs into a lucrative small scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools and materials so watch the video until the end and choose an inspiring design for your next project if you are new to the channel and if you like what you see please consider subscribing to the channel and smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos if you are already a subscribed member please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience a book is a medium for recording information in the form of writing or images especially composed of many pages bound together and protected by a cover the technical term for this physical arrangement is codex with plural codices in the history of handheld physical supports for extended written compositions or records the codex replaces its predecessor, the scroll. A single sheet in a codex is a leaf, and each side of a leaf is a page. As an intellectual object, a book is prototypically a composition of such great length that it takes a considerable investment of time to compose and is still considered an investment of time to read. In a restricted sense, a book is a self-sufficient section or part of a longer composition, a usage that reflected the fact that in antiquity, long works had to be written on several scrolls and each scroll had to be identified by the book it contained. Each part of Aristotle's physics is called a book. In an unrestricted sense, a book is the composition, the compositional whole of which such sections, whether called books or chapters or parts, are parts. A shelf is a flat horizontal plane which is used in a home business a store or elsewhere to hold items that are being displayed stored or offered for sale it is raised off the ground and usually anchored or supported on its shorter length sides 
by brackets. It can also be held up by columns or pillars. A shelf can be attached to a wall or other vertical surface, be suspended from a ceiling, be a part of a freestanding frame unit, or it can be part of a piece of furniture such as a cabinet, bookcase, entertainment center, some headboards, and so on. Usually two to six shelves make up a unit, each shelf being attached perpendicular to the vertical or diagonal supports and positioned parallel one above the other. Freestanding shelves can be accessible from either one or both longer length sides. A shelf with a hidden internal bracket is termed a floating shelf. A floating shelf or case designed to hold books is a bookshelf. A bookcase or a bookshelf is a piece of furniture with horizontal shelves used to store books or other printed materials. Bookcases are used in private homes, public and university libraries, offices and bookstores. Bookcases range from small low models, the height of a table to a high models reaching up to ceiling height. Shelves may be fixed or adjustable to different positions in the case. In rooms entirely devoted to the storage of books, such as libraries, they may be permanently fixed to the walls and or floor. A bookcase may be fitted with glass doors that can be closed to protect the books from dust or moisture. Bookcase doors are almost always glazed with glass so as to allow the spines of the books to be read. Especially valuable rare books may be kept in locked cases with wooden or glazed doors. Small bookshelf may also stand on some other piece of furniture such as a desk or a chest. Larger books are more likely to be kept in horizontal piles and very large books flat on wide shelves or on coffee tables. A bookcase is also known as a bookshelf, a bookstand, a cupboard, and a book rack. In a library, large bookshelves are called stacks. The length of the shelf is based upon the space limitations of its sitting and the amount of weight which it will be expected to hold. The vertical distance between the shelves is based upon the space limitations of the unit sitting the height of the objects. Our adjustable shelving systems allow the vertical distance to be altered. The unit can be fixed or be some form of mobile shelving. Do you live in a home with a small footprint? Do you love a minimal look? Well, wall-mounted floating shelves are the answer for you. These wall-mounted shelves have no brackets, giving them the appearance of floating on, wa on your walls and making for minimum clutter. And while they may look magical once installed, putting, the, putting them up isn't as hard as looks if you do it the right way. A floating shelf is one form of a wall-mounted shelf, and it is a form of shelf with its wall fixings hidden within the shelf board with no visible supports or brackets. A floating shelf may have two or more channels open from the back towards but without reaching the front into which side fasteners attached to the wall typically held in place by screws inserted through the bottom of the shelf. Wall shelves turn empty walls into a museum of you where you can store and show off your things. There are lots of styles, finishes and sizes. Whether you're looking for a wall shelf with books, a wall shelf for books or even with drawers.
You should decide on the style and shape of the wall-mounted bookshelf, otherwise you'll get caught in a web of what, where and why. Two main factors playing out there are what you need and how to decide. Shelves are normally made of strong materials such as wood, bamboo or steel. Though shelves of to hold lighter weight objects can be found of glass, made of glass or plastic. Duty shelf shelves can be made from different odd objects. Private libraries appeared during the late Romanian Roman Republic. Seneca invaded against libraries fitted out for show by illiterate owners who scarcely read their titles and the code in the course of a lifetime, but displayed the scrolls in a bookcases or citrus wood inlaid with ivory that run right to the ceiling. By now, like bathrooms and hot water, a library has got up a standard equipment for a fine house. When books were written by hand and were not produced in great quantities, they were kept in small boxes or chests, which owners, usually the wealthy aristocrats or clergy, carried with them. As manuscript volumes accumulated in religious houses or in homes of the wealthy, they were stored on shelves or in cupboards. These cupboards are the predecessors of today's bookcases. Later, the doors were removed and the evolution of the bookcase proceeded. Even then, however, the volumes were not arranged in the modern fashion. They were either placed in piles upon their sides or, if upright, were ranked with their backs to the walls and their edges outwards. The band of leather, vellum or parchment which clothed the book was often used for the inscription of the title, which was thus on the foreedge instead of on the spine. Titles were also commonly written on through the foreedge. Early bookcases were usually of oak, which is still deemed to by some to be the most appropriate wood for an elegant library. The oldest bookcases in England are those in the Bodleian Library at Oxford University, which were placed in position in the last year or two of the 16th century. In that library are the earliest extant examples of shelf galleries over the flat wall cases. Long ranges of bookshelves are somewhat severe in appearance, and many attempts have been made by means of carved cornices and pilasters to give them a less austere appearance. These attempts were more successful as in the hands of the English cabinet makers of the second half of the 18th century. In recent years, several wall-mounted bookshelves or bookcases designs are available on the internet and on the market. There are designs they are these are designed by shapes and designs which optimize the storage space and fit to the available space in the in the houses. With such a variety of options, there are no limits to wall-mounted bookcases and their design potential. They could be made budget-friendly or highly expensive based on the design and the materials used. As you can see in the video, we have compiled a number of beautiful wall-mounted bookshelf or bookcase design ideas for your inspiration. If you like such content, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and also smash that notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.